Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'm making a video on fixing a, a little common issue with my 2004 uh, Evolution. So if you guys have one of these, uh, you've probably dealt with it. If you haven't dealt with it, you will. This one is a, uh, it's got about 96,000 miles on it. It does have a built motor and all that good stuff, but eventually as things get older, plastics wear out, electronics wear out. And on these, they are known to have a starting issue, which typically comes from the ignition switch, which is located in the steering column. So today, I'm going to go ahead and strip out the old one, put the new one in, and show you just how easy that is. So we're going to walk around the other side, I'm going to show you where it's at, and then I'll strip the plastics off, put the new one in, plug it in, and hopefully that's the, the, uh, that's the end of my ignition woes. So. All right, so we'll go around here. This is, like I said, it's an 04, it's SSL, and the super rare Blue by U. that's a Cosworth 2.0, Cosworth head, uh, HKS cams. So it's, it's a pretty good stout uh, setup for the street. Uh, anyhow, so ignition switch is, right now it's still got all the plastics on it, um, but if you own an Evo, you know that you've probably gotten in the car, and it's nothing more than embarrassing than you hop in the damn thing, put the key in it, clutch to the floor, go to start, and it just ticks. It almost sounds like it's like a dead battery. And you've probably gone through all of it, and you're like, it's not the starter, it's not the battery, it's the ignition switch. It's a little $27 part from Mitsubishi. I got mine from STM Tuned, and it's an OEM part. Hold on. Right here. So, what ends up happening is this little guy right here, see that slot? That slot gets wore out. And eventually when you go to rotate your key in the barrel over there, now that the key's not going in here, but when it, there's another part, uh, this part, this plastic piece gets wore out. And so what's happening is it's not completing the connection, allowing your car to start. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So it's like $27 plus shipping. You might be able to get it cheaper somewhere else, um, but it's no shit. It's just one little screw that holds this thing in place, and it's located in here. So I'm going to strip the plastics off, uh, pull everything off so you can see where it is, and then I'm going to show you just, it's a one little screw, unscrew it, unplug it from the wiring harness, plug it back in, uh, screw it back down, put all your plastics back in, and that should be the end of your ignition woes. Now, not every car is the same. Some of you guys are buying Evos or project cars or race cars and stuff like that. And you know, sometimes these cars fall into some sh hands of shade tree mechanics and they do some really janky shit with wires. So that's not, may, may not solve your problem, but this is a pretty common issue. So, all right, uh, well, I'm gonna go ahead and strip the plastics off and then we'll pick up right um, after that. So we got the plastic off and it only takes two or three minutes at most. I mean, you just, it's a couple of the uh, Phillips head that's in a plastic and then you got a 10 millimeter that's right underneath would be kind of like there's you get that random little tray that is in the plastic uh, down here. I'm gonna flip it. So you just take, so this is the back side of the plastic trim. So this is where you got that, it's like a coin tray or just random stuff. Pop that out, get to this little 10 millimeter bolt here. Unplug all your stuff, or if you have, uh, this is SSL, so you know, I've got the uh, HIDs with the adjustable high beams where you can adjust it higher or lower. Uh, just unplug that. You can leave the rest of it hang. Now, what you're trying to get to is this right here. So that right there is what you're trying to get to. So as you can see, it's just held on with a Phillips head. And in that mine, because I've been having issues, mine's kind of loose, and I'm not really, I'm not moving it that much. Like I'm not really trying to like pull on that pretty hard. So I gotta do. Take the screw out, unplug this. This actually has a little clip that it rides, it rides on. Slide it off, plug everything back in, tighten it back down, and you should be good to go. Okay. All right, so the new one is in. It was a little bit of pain in the butt to get in there because that little tiny screw, uh, even though I got a tiny Phillips head, uh, wouldn't work right. So I was able to get a regular Phillips head in there, but the new one's in. And here's the old one. So you can see, that's the old guy. Pop that out, put the new one in. It does have two little clips on it. 
this one here and that one there. Make sure you line up this groove before you put it in. You gotta line up that groove with the arrow and then it goes on, there's a rod inside there, it's a rectangular rod. So you just line them up, pop it in there, tighten it down. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put all the plastics back on. All right, so got it all back together and uh, put everything back where it belongs. Tighten everything back down. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, start it. Make sure I didn't screw anything up because you know, you know, shit happens. <laughs> right up not a problem the ignition does feel I noticed that the spring tension on the ignition feels significantly stiffer um, yeah while I was in there I just went ahead and cleaned up a few things because uh, I did buy this car used and it exchanged hand twice according to the uh, Carfax and there were some like some residual stuff in there from things that are no longer on the car they had like those janky ass wire taps, you know, that like pinch onto the wire and then they run another wire out. So I removed some of that stuff, um, you know, and just cleaned it up, covered up the where the bare wire was exposed. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this works for you guys. It's super simple. Um, all you really need is a 10 millimeter socket, Phillips head screwdriver. Um, a good flathead would be nice if you're trying to undo the connections because that was a little pain in my butt to get off. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Pop the old one out, put the new one in, and hopefully that fixes it for you. If it does, you know, please uh, make sure you uh, like and share this video. Other than that, you guys, good one.